now after the template which is the window template the next thing is you cover with your fondant the same way i covered with my hand drill okay now for the template i have used pink fondant i rolled out the pink fondant to be exactly the size of the template and i placed it on top like that of the hand drill and then remove all the ones that needed to be removed now the next thing i did after this was to be folding according to the partitions and making sure that it is well you know straightened so that by the time i dry it it will be easier for me now to dry it i look for a dummy but i couldn't find a straight dummy that is the same size with it so but i had these uh, separators there are so many okay so i decided to use the separator to hold them okay and uh, for me to do that i have applied shortening on the separator okay i applied shortening and then stick it to the shortening so that it will stay but before i do this after covering i allowed the um the fondant to firm up a little bit before doing this so it won't be too soft on the paper this paper I use is a little bit stressful when it comes to things like this that you have to cover fondant and stand. But if it is something you just have to cover a partition and allow it to be on a table, the paper is perfect. But for things like this, it is a bit stressful but you can still achieve it. Another paper you can use is called strawboard. And the people that are selling books all over, they have it. It is grey. In color or somehow ash in color but you have to cover both the outside and the inside of course the inside will have to be where they are seeing okay you cannot cover outside pink and the inside will remain ash it will not match your paper at all you can decide to cover outside pink and then the inside you will cover white okay that is only the part you are seeing if you are using straw board it is more stressful in cutting, but it will be more stable to use. Now, you saw how the paper and the fondant was dangling. With your straw board, this will never happen. Okay? Now, if on the process of trying to position, you notice that anyone cut off, don't worry. Just go right inside the box, this side the, at the back. Use a solo tape and hold it together. It will stay. Remember, that side is paper. Okay? Now, you saw me cutting off somewhere at the edge in order to position. That is the extra one inch that I use in joining it. The fondant covered it, so I had to remove it. So that the gum will be able to stay and hold it. Let it be paper to paper. Okay? Now, after positioning it on the former, allow it to at least firm up a little bit like one hour to two hours it will not be dry at all but something that will be a little bit firmer okay then you transfer it to the main part where it's supposed to be this is my six inches i removed it from the former and i want to start gumming it now remember you are not placing it on top but on the side of the board that is carrying the six inches cake okay and what I am using here now is my glue. That is the a, a glue gun. I believe every one of us know it. So you can see I positioned it in a way you will not even see the board. So this is what I'm going to do until I go round. Now, after covering it, the next thing that should come on top is the board. But before we position the board, 
we are first of all going to line the window blind okay and for the window blind i am going to be using frosted pvc paper this uh, pvc paper that is a bit blur okay and uh, we are going to position it in order to you know give it this look like a real house and after that we can now place our board so for the pvc i first of all took the measurement of the partitions but this time the pvc had to be smaller than the partition as the most important thing is to make sure that it covered the window assuming you want to add light to the cake this frosted pvc paper also we dim the light a little so that people will not really understand the kind of light that is inside your cake and it will help the light not to be too shouty that is not to be uh, shining too much it will just dim it down that is another thing you can achieve After adding the frosted PVC paper, remember it's transparent but it's blue, okay? The next thing is the board. Now add the board and also hold it together using your gum. So now you can see how everything has become, how firm, how straight and how clean everything has turned out to be. Next, you take it to the base cake. Position it on the base cake in such a way that the door can come in front of it. Remember, other side windows are very close, but the front part of the house, the windows are a bit far from each other. So all you need to do is to position that side that is a bit far in front and because a door is coming there. Now you can see the side facing you now is the front side and that's where the door will come in, okay? So let's go straight to the base cake. On the base cake, position it backwards to create a space for the door. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.